Welcome to this free agent how-to tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to raise your first invoice. So to set up an invoice for the first time on free agent, uh, what we're going to do if you go into work and then invoicing, then you get this screen. This is a, a dummy version of free agent, so it's brand new um, and no one's set up an invoice yet. So we get this invoicing screen that just says that we can uh, take us through creating our first invoice. This uh, video is going to be very basic, go through the complete basics of how to do it. There's lots of other options, but we won't cover those today. There's just the basics as quickly as we can. Let's keep it simple <laughs> so you guys can get started. So we're going to create your first invoice. Um, this then brings up the information that it wants to know to be able to create the invoice. The first thing it wants to know is who the invoice is going to be to. You can either add a new contact. If you click onto this one, it will open up. Um, just some basic information so you can get, get the invoice created, then you can go and put more information for the contact later if you wish to. But we're going to just pick Claire's cards, who's one of our existing contra uh, contacts. We then go down to the invoice details section. So the invoice reference number, it uses a very basic referencing, but if you've been uh, working outside of free agent and you don't want to start at number one, you've already got an invoice, some invoices that you raise, then we can start this at whatever number we want to. In this case, we're going to start it at 24. Um, as long as you use just a, a simple reference system that we would suggest that you keep it as simple as you can, um, it will automatically know. And so for the next invoice that you raise, it will, free agent will call it 25, 26, 27. You never have to duplicate an invoice number or miss an invoice number out again. Uh, it does it all for you. Then it asks for the date on the invoice. For tax purposes, you may want to change this. So if we just set this at the 1st of December. Payment terms, again, 30 days. You can set different um, different numbers of days. Uh, if, you, if you have a seven day period, you can do seven days. If you set it to zero, so if you put zero in the box, it will come uh, up with a display on the invoice that says due on receipt, which means you want payment right now. Uh, the currency, again, we just keep it in sterling, but there are other uh, options. Additional tax is the tax that's at the bottom of, of the invoice. Um, because uh, we've set something over here, so if we click on this box, this is the default additional tax that is on all invoices. Uh, we've just typed in uh, what we'd like to put on the bottom of all our invoices. Any, you can put any legal terms, you can put any return information. Um, it will appear on every single invoice from now on. So you never have to type this in again, which is great. Um, because we've already done that, but again, if you hadn't, you can just click on it and put it in now. Um, this is already appearing, but if for some reason for Claire, we wanted to put an additional piece of information on the bottom of her invoice just for her. So for example, the extra items will be shipped on Tuesday. That would just appear on Claire on this individual invoice for Claire um, and not on any of the others. There, again, as I said, there's lots of extra more options down here and, and ways to invoice, but that's the basics. So if we click create new invoice, uh, free agent creates the structure of the invoice for you. So as we can see, it's got Bob's um, information for his, for his business. It's got the invoice number, um, payment terms due on receipt, and over here it would have the information for the client. If the client's address was on the system, then it would show her address as well. If you had a logo, your logo would appear up here. Uh, Bob's not real, so he hasn't got a logo. I maybe I'll have to come up with one for him. At the bottom, it's got uh, the kind of bank that you have and your bank account details so they can pay you immediately. And if you're a limited company, it would have a, a registration number. If um, your VAT registered, it would show your VAT number. Uh, and then this is the information that we just saw in that box a minute ago. Um, again, if you were thought, oh, actually, I need to put something else on it, or I need to change anything, or you want to change the date, or any of the information we just put in, you just click up back on Edit, and it takes you back into that first screen, and you can change anything you want to, and then Save Changes, and it takes you back into the main screen. So there's never, never too late to change anything on the invoice that you want to. Right, the invoice is all ready to go, it's just empty. So now we need to add some invoice items. So if we click on the big green button, we get this helpful pop-up um, where we can put whatever we want to 
uh, as an item on the invoice. So the units are hours, days, weeks, months, years, product services, lots of different things. Uh, but if in this instance, I'm going to put no unit, I'm going to say it's three, and then I'm going to say box of dolls, 15 per box. The amount that we're going to charge per box, which is what we need to put in here because it's going to times it by the quantity, it's 50 pounds a box. Um, and so if I do create and finish, hopefully this will be three times 50, it will show that, that they owe me 150 pounds. Uh, if you there's a price list option and again you can add if you sell lots of these boxes uh, you can add it to a price list so you can just drill uh, select it on a on a drop down menu rather than having to type it in every time but again we will cover price lists on another video if we then do uh, create and finish we can see that there's the item it's times it by three and there's the total amount that they owe if at this point you realize there's something else you want to put on the invoice you can put as many items as you want I'm going to just add a second item, change the quantity, and I'm just going to say shipping at $7.99, create and finish. So again, it will uh, show the shipping, it will add it all together. If you're VAT registered, it will give you an option to select the VAT um, rate that the, each of the items need to be charged at, and it will show VAT separately or automatic, automatically worked out. You never have to work out your VAT amounts again. Um, the other feature it has is you can reorder the items. So if we click on that button, it lets you drag and drop the items around so that you can put them in whatever order you wish to. And then at the end, you can just say, I finished reordering. And again, it saves it the way it is. Uh, if at this point you realize that you've <laughs> entered one of these incorrectly, we can go into edit. And if there is only 12 dolls per box, we can say, oh, we just changed that to 12, save changes. Even at this stage, you can still go back into edit and change the dates or any of the other information you put in earlier. Um, if you decide that there's an item that you don't want anymore, then this little button across at the end will delete the invoice item from the invoice altogether. The invoice is now all ready to go. Um, it looks a bit squashed, but when you print it out, it does actually print it out on an A4 size piece of paper um, and it looks much better. <laughs> Um, so at this stage, there's, there's two things you can do. You can either save uh, the invoice as a PDF, at which point you can print it out and give it to your customer, or you can email it uh, separately to your customer, or you can send it by email. Uh, if you send it by email, uh, again, we'll cover that in another video, um, but it will literally give you a little message that you can send the email address to send it to, and the software will send it directly to your customer which is amazing. I mean, I, I use do all our invoicing this way and it saves me so much time. Either option that you choose, the last thing you need to do, which is really, really important, is you need to mark it as sent. Um, at the moment, this is a draft invoice. So if you go to try and match it to a payment coming into the bank, you won't be able to see it because it's draft. So it's kind of sat above the books. So if we just click on mark as sent, that finalizes the invoice. Um, and like pushes it into the actual books um, so that you can see it everywhere else on free agent. The draft invoices, you can only see it looking at the draft invoices under invoices. They don't appear anywhere else on the software. So if you can't find an invoice, it's probably because it's still draft. If for any reason you want to make some changes to this invoice, all that you would have to do is do make draft again, it goes back to the draft and then these edit boxes reappear and you can make changes. You can toggle between draft and mark sent hundreds of times <laughs> if you keep wanting to make changes before you send it out. That's absolutely fine. So now that this has been marked as sent, uh, if we go into work and invoicing, we'll be able to see that there it is. It's actually overdue because remember we, we dated it on the 1st of December and said it was pay, payment immediately. If we dated it seven days time, then it would be this would show amber. Um, and once it's paid, it goes green. The other things that you can do is, is if they haven't paid you after a certain amount of time, you can now send them a reminder, which will email them the invoice again with a nice little message saying, have you forgotten? <laughs> um, the other things you can do is to monitor all your invoicing is if we go onto the overview, we can now see that we have uh, something in our invoice 
graph and that's an overdue invoice in December. Um, and if we're not sure which invoice it is, if we just click on invoices up here, you can see it in the list that it's the invoice we've just raised to Claire's cards. Um, once the invoice is matched on the bank and paid, um, then this would go into a nice green colour. Um, and you can always see who, who owes you money, um, which is amazing. As soon as you come into the software sort of first thing in the morning, you'd see a list of all of the different uh, amounts of money you've billed, how many are green, how many are red. Um, it's just really, really helpful. If this has been helpful, please like it below and subscribe to our channels to see more of our videos. And if you need a free agent friendly accountant that's easy to talk to, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.